You're right, guys. Hope you're all well. Uh, it's Robbo here. So, firstly, I just want to start off by thanking um, Gary at Watch Along Leeds, uh, also Stu at the Disabled Team, and also um, uh, Jess. So, uh, thank you very much for inviting me on the uh, onto the channel, uh, onto the live stream. Uh, much, much appreciated. Um, so, apologise. I had to leave uh, a little bit earlier than planned, um, but I had to, uh, obviously I had to pick up the uh, the Ben. So. But um, so I'm just going to go on, obviously, about the the press conference and my thoughts, obviously, on the the Borough game tomorrow. So as we all know, obviously, the uh, we've got Dallas out, and there's no shock and surprise. We've got Firpo out again. Um, he's looking at obviously three weeks out. So whether that's the up to the the end of December or just after, depending on how uh, how he progresses um, through the, the the treatment of the injury. Um, but it just shows you that we actually need um, a left back in January because we can't obviously rely on Firpo and uh, uh, Byram is you know with him being uh, pretty much the the other left back that we've got we can't rely on him for every single game so we do need to fill that uh, that spot with um, whether it be uh, a replacement to actually play there. Um, all the time, or for uh, for for, uh, for him to actually play um, a handful of games, or even to to come off the bench. So we we definitely need to cover that spot, regardless. Um, so yeah, um, obviously on to the uh, the other part. So it, uh, Farco was mentioning about uh, leaders in the team. Uh, obviously now, as we know, we've got Cooper, uh, Ailing. Uh, they played uh, obviously a handful of games, and with them being the senior members of the squad, um, regardless of whether they play the, uh, or they don't play, the the younger players uh, can look up to them. Uh, obviously, for either for inspiration or just um, just in general as uh, as members of the team, with uh, with obviously uh, you know with uh, like uh, a head on the shoulders. Now, obviously, as we know, you know we know what Ailing's like. You know when he plays, he has you know he's hit and miss, more misses than hit. Um, Cooper, I really, I highly rate Cooper, um, but obviously they they're going to be coming to the time uh, at, at the club. So whether it be the end of the season or whether it's going to be a, a year or two, so you know we need this young talent to actually um, look to our older members of the team and to you know to 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 really. Um, dig and to find out what actually makes them tick as well, so obviously they can go on and progress, um, you know, in, in the team as well. And I mean, ju just look at Archer Gray, for instance, you know, seventeen years old, ripping uh, ripping it up in the championship. And I mean, you know, me personally, I mean, I never would have thought in my, you know, in my time that we would have um, had somebody uh, of Gray's stature. You know, you can play two positions. You know, midfield and uh, and defence. So, you know, it just shows you there that the the young product that's coming through, um, you know, do look up to the uh, to the older members of the squad. So, yeah, it's it's you know it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, enough of me waffling on about that. So on to the Middlesbrough game. Um, my thoughts, obviously, on that game. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. I think it's going to be. If it's not going to be a nil-nil draw, uh, I think it's going to be a hard-fought one, uh, one-nil. Sorry, uh, Leeds. If they play the way they have done, um, you know, I, I can. At times, obviously, I mean, if we play like we did against Swansea, I can probably see us just getting a draw, but um, especially in the first half. But if we play, if we play the full game like we did in the second half against. Uh, against Swansea, uh, and we uh, we put that into the Borough game, then I can't see any reason why we can't uh, beat them. But uh, obviously, I mean, uh, Borough are uh, a different level of team. Yeah, they've got their injuries, they've got their uh, their downfalls as well as um, as well as any other squad. But um, yeah, so I mean, that's it. So I mean, like I say, my thoughts is uh, one nil. Win uh, if not, it'll be a draw. So leave your score predictions uh, down in the comments below, guys. Uh, be much appreciated. Also, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're stuck around, uh, please subscribe. Also, to my subscribers, thank you very much for for sticking around. 
uh, and for being patient with me on this um, busy time of year. Uh, next week, uh, it's going to be roughly around about my close down period for, for work, so I'll have quite a lot of time to spare, so I'll be doing a lot more videos. Um, so yeah, uh, cheers guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that notification bell, um, sharing, commenting and also subscribing guys, much much appreciated. Also, uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you're new to my channel and you don't know obviously the, the other channels, uh, if you wouldn't mind popping over to uh, Watch Along Leads, uh, that's uh, a friend of mine Gary and also the disabled team which is another friend of mine Stu uh, with his son Lee. Um, yeah, much, much appreciate, guys. Thank you very, very much, and I will catch you in my next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.